At Menchewa village in Keio South District, where a roofless hut juts out of the landscape, everything gives away that the onset of the short trains has brought with it blessings and tragedy in equal measure. Eight members of one family, a mother and her seven children, who'd sat down to share an evening meal, all killed by lightning's single blow. A tragedy reminiscent of usual occurrences in this village. <laughs> This incident is not a first in this part of the country. Same misfortunes are reported in some of these areas lying along the north and south of the equator, like the northern and southern parts of Rift Valley Province, Kisi Highlands, and the south and northern parts of Nanza provinces, areas more prone to lightning when heavy rain pounds. <laughs> And while lightning is not new to our environment, just how to protect oneself is still shrouded in myths. In rural areas, there is little or no protection, as costs of proofing one's house against lightning are at times beyond the reach of many. Experts reckon that all buildings should be installed with lightning rods or lightning arresters. For buildings in urban centers, they should be two feet long, while for rural structures, they should be four feet long. These arresters can be found at electronic shops for prices ranging between 2,500 shillings for those coated with copper and 6,000 shillings for those made of pure copper. Copper is a good conductor of heat. Alternatively, electricians also emphasize on earthing of houses. Earthed houses benefit from the connection to proofed electricity poles, which are often at higher heights than the houses. These few simple tips can also help keep you from harm's way in case lightning strikes. If you are outdoors, avoid water, high ground and open spaces. Canopies, rain shelters and trees are also unsafe. Avoid all metal objects such as electric wires, fences and machinery. If lightning is striking nearby, crouch down and put your feet together. This limits the amount of area that you cover. If indoors, avoid using the phone, turn off and unplug all electrical appliances. Sheila Sandeo, Sunday Live.